Hello YouTube and welcome to episode 8 of the Bath City Save where we're going to take on Powerhouse Arsenal here at Bath City in the third round of the FA Cup. But before we get into all that, let's go ahead and roll that intro. Well, here we are with probably the biggest match that has ever been played in Bass City history. But before we get that, into that, I'm going to ask you, what did you think of the new intro? What do you think of the new graphics we got going there? I've got some some feedback that I was a little bit too small in the corner. So, what do you think? Do I need to? What do I need to do here? Uh, but I, the intro was something that I had worked on, and it was my first attempt at one. So, tell me what you think. But before we get into that, let's take a look at what is going on with the team. The last time you were with us. We were playing, a, we just played against Hartlepool where we had the victory there. And we followed that up with a, a way match against, a, a, with Welling. I'll get it right here in a minute. And it was kind of a bland match. Uh, nine shots on goal for them, ten for us. Nobody really stood out. Uh, had three bookings on it. And the only scoring was an own goal in the 39th minute. We then turn around and uh, went from the Welling match to the FA Trophy first round, and we played against Geisley there. There we can see the uh, Geisley, Geisley, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Pretty evenly matched once again, 11 shots for us, 13 for them. Possession 52 to 48. We uh, scored in the fifth minute. They scored right before halftime in the 45th minute, and that's the way it pretty much fizzled out after that but we then turned around and had a replay with them and, uh, a few days later uh, went to uh, Geasley Geisley and played that one that one turned into a slugfest um, and we're gonna hope that this thing works okay there we go they had 24 shots on goal we had nine I mean, I, if, if anything, I'd have to say that they, they kind of got FM'd on this. Tom Young's got a brace. We're going to talk about him in just a second. They won it in the 89th minute. I mean, it was just back and forth. We weren't taking a lot of shots. We were running in counter, and it seemed to work to our advantage until that 89th minute when they were able to, to get the, the victory on us. I was kind of disappointed in that. I was hoping we could move on. But, you know, you can't win everything. We then turned around and traveled to Whitehawk uh, back in the Vanarama South. We played Whitehawk away. Tom Youngs, once again, is a, was able to get the winner for us in the 35th minute. Once again, uh, they, they outshot a 16-8, to eight, four on target for both of us. Possession, we had a lot more possession. But it, I, I started to get a little concerned here to see what's going on with the, with the, the boys. And we're going to see how that kind of works out. We then, on Boxing Day, played Hungerford at home. Uh, had a 3-2 victory on this one. Tom Youngs, you're going to see who this guy is in just a second. He had a hat trick, uh, 13th, 18th, and 81st minute. Uh, obviously, was player of the match. Had a 9.5 rating. 13 shots on goal. They had 17. Uh, seven on target to their six. Really pleased with the way the guys played this one. This was a, a Boxing Day match at home. Supposed to be a close match. Then we turned around and traveled to Hungerford on January 1st to play the away leg of this thing. And the pundits were saying, oh, this is going to be an easy victory for us, easy victory for us. Well, somebody forgot to tell my guys because we got, we got outplayed. 15 shots to, to our 10. Um, possession was 50% fouls pretty much even but the problem was Young scored in the 22nd minute and we never really did much after that it was pretty flat all the way around and I was really kind of concerned that if I would show you the, the footage of this thing you'd see we just we played flat um, got dispossessed quite a lot just, just I was not pleased with how we were doing we then came home on January 7th and played Hampton and Richmond and this was one of those games that was just, I mean, it was just awful. Not many shots on goal on either side. Eight 
uh, for us, 11 for them. Nobody booked. N Damn, uh, Ball was a player of the match, and I don't really know how they were able to award that. Um, they had 11 fouls to R6, possession 55 to 45. But we really didn't we, we didn't make any real efforts, any real strikes on that net. That, that is concerning for me because we're getting ready to play Arsenal at home. Um, big match for us. Let's go ahead and see where that, that kind of leaves us in the competitions, what we're looking at right now. After 24 matches played, we have a 10-point lead in uh, Vanarama National South, which I'm really kind of shocked with. The interesting thing, Hampton and Richmond, who gave us such a struggle here, is at 16th. Whitehawk, who we barely beat, is 22nd. I mean, and so we're struggling with these teams in the bottom of the table, and that's really kind of frustrating to me. Um, we are in the third round of the FA Cup, the FA Trophy. We were supposed to reach the first round, and we get knocked out in the first round. One thing that happened with the staff, we lost our chief scout. Uh, I got the, the approval from the board to bring in another scout because I want to start scouting the Vanarama National League to see if we can find some players in there. That's kind of what my long-term progression is with scouting, is get guys to play in the Vanarama National. And then what happens, Ebsfleet turns around and hires my chief scout. I was paying him 150 pound a week. I offered him 200 pound a week, which is the max I could offer, and they snagged him. And I looked at it, and I think I had a previous episode that I showed you they're paying almost 900 pound, 900 thousand a year in salary. So they they've got some deep pockets, and it showed right there. I did sign a new striker, and the name is uh, Tom Youngs. And then we're going to talk about what happened to the side in just a second. This guy here, I uh, brought him in. I'm paying him, I think, 200, uh, 220 pound a week. I was just getting really concerned that um, we were getting, Great Kuno was getting injured so much, and I didn't have anybody really as a striker to step in. So I brought in Tom, Tom Youngs. Uh, he was, uh, brought him in from Chelmsford, that's where he'd been at. And He's had four appearances, five goals. He's played twice in the FA Cup, got an assist. He's played in the FA Trophy, two matches, two goals. His ratings are seven plus. I mean, I'm just, I'm shocked that we were able to get him in and, and how progressive, how well he's doing for us. Um, really pleased with what I've got there. And I mean, that's kind of what I'm looking at long term. How am I going to deal with this? You're going to notice that I've got Frankie Artis is injured, Lee Marshall's injured, Andy Watkins is injured, Greg Kundal is injured. I went through, had one guy injured right before the Arsenal game, and then boom, this happened. I wanted to just show you the finances. Um, so far this month, we made 3,000 pounds. Overall this season, 167,000. Uh, our overall balance is 100 and almost 160,000. So. I'm going to go ahead and get everything set up for you. We're going to get ready to play Arsenal, and I hope you enjoy this as much as I'm going to. Here we go with the two sides, and as expected, they are bringing a weakened side against us. Even a weakened side against us is a huge side against us. Um, the, the two formations look very familiar. They should. I'm playing a 4-2-3-1, so are they. One of the questions I got asked in the pre-match press conference is about Navi Diallo. Navi has the potential, but he's just, he, I think his match prep is still a little off, and, I, and so I'm going to start Josh Hutchinson. But anyway, I got O'Leary and Gold, Dan Ball, Chas Hemmings, Jack Batten, and George Rigg across the back. Pepper and Murphy in the middle. Uh, Josh Hutchinson, Josh King, Shaquille Hunter across the attacking midfield, and Young's up front. They have o David Ospina in goal, Bramall, uh, Debauchi, Holding, and Jinx Jenkinson across the back. El Nini and da Dasel, I don't even recognize that guy. Iwobi, which is going to be fun to try to mark him. Dragomir and Nelson with Nettie High. What's so sad is I'm an Arsenal fan. I don't even recognize who some of these guys are. So that's who we're going to be going up against. I'm going to go ahead and give them their instructions and their pep talk, and I'll join you back in just a moment. I've given them their pep talk, and basically I said nobody expects us to do anything. Let's just go out, relax, have some fun. This is the uh, team instruction I've given them. We're in counter, structured, looking for overlap, working the ball in the box. 
using tighter marking and get stuck in and hopefully we could not get pummeled too much in the first half and you can see they're pretty relaxed uh, about half of them responded to it so let's get them out there and see what happens this is this is huge we've got a sellout crowd here 8840 packed house I've never seen this in all the times I've been playing Bass City they've come out I, I want to say they've come out to cheer on the boys but I, I'm not going to take credit for that they're out there for the guys in red and white and we know that if we can at least score a goal that will be a huge boost for the boys so we're going to see how that goes a um, couple things I want to point out to you you notice the new graphics on the intro just Mike did those for me I really appreciate him doing that I am a graphics dinosaur I know nothing about doing graphics and I am terrible at it um, so I, and I appreciate all the support and everybody watching here, hey, we cleared it out, so they've had two shots and two off target, and we obviously, in the first 15 minutes, have done nothing offensively. We've got one shot. It doesn't even register as on target or off target, so that tells you how well it went. Awobi's going to put it in, and there's their first goal, 13th minute goal for Arsenal. Vlad Drogomir, his first goal of the season, and it's pretty sad when the Bath fans are, are cheering him on as well. You know, I th I, I, I'm, I've been thinking, and I, I may, I mean, I, you know, what's what's the odds of this? Let's go ahead. Nobody expects us to do anything. So what the heck? I oh, know. I'm going to go control. See if we can get some guys down there. I mean, they've got four shots on goal. We have one. It would be nice if we could... I, I'd, I'd like to score one, and they hear that it looks like they're bringing it down the, the pitch again. A Wobie's got it, he's going to push it over, and there's their second goal in the 21st minute. Jeez. Yeah, this is going to get Josh De Silva his debut, and he's able to punch it in. I, I, I think it's just going to be like this the whole time. And I, I guess some, some of you may wonder why I decided to do this, show this match, because it's going to be a blowout, but... I've shown all of the FA Cup matches up to this point. Why change now? Just because it's going to be a 10 to nothing drubbing. Because um, it's, you know, I figure this this is what's brought us this far. So, um, and it looks like Josh King has got a chest injury, which is not good. Um, so we're going to... Go ahead and make the put Nobby in there. And just go out there and have some fun. He seems demotivated. Wow, that's not good. And I really don't want to see another injury. I mean, I've been dealing with... I've, I've just got all of a sudden a rash of injuries in the last two weeks. Oh, come on. Shutting down. There you go. And Chaz Hemmings... Oh, so in the 31st minute... We're going to give, you don't have to give points to Arsenal. And it looks like that's what we're going to do. Now, come on, Max. See if we can get something positive to come out of this. El Nini's going to take it, and there it is, 3-0 at halftime. Well, we don't need to watch that again, because that was really bad. 31st minute, losing 3-0. All right, to hell with it. Let's go. And it looks like Billy Murphy is going to get a yellow. Well, at least we got on the board for something. And then he's going to take an a, and that was a not a good kick. They've got eight shots on goal, three on target. We have one shot on goal and nothing to come out of it. Six fouls. Pretty much this is this is what I and Chaz Hemmings is going to get a yellow. I mean. I keep telling myself that this this is the the reason we did this was to get some money, which obviously are we we sold out the place. Um, you know, I you know go out you you got nothing to lose. Go out there and, and, and come on, guys. I know you guys can get better. I mean that's. I know it's Arsenal, I know it's like playing Goliath, David and Goliath, but 
you know, at least act like you know what you're doing out there, because right now we pretty much seem like we're clueless. And what's going to happen, I know, is Chas Hemmings is going to get another yellow. We're going to end up with 10 men. And here comes the fourth goal. 49th minute. Oh, Max is able to clear that one out. I think he's got kind of nervous because normally that, that's a that's a given for him to grab a hold of that thing. But it's... Here comes El Nini down. And he's going to push it over to Jenkinson. Crosses in. And he heads it in front of the goal. Uh, so it looks like it'll be a goal kick. I'm going to take one other check here. No, they're all doing okay. Let's cancel that. One other thing I want to do is let's get them playing wide. And let's get them expressive. Shoot. Let's go for it. What what have we got to lose? Come on, score one, guys. Josh Hutchinson there. He's going to push it over to Nobby. And Nobby gives it away to De Silva. That's where I think him not playing is, is, is going to cause us some problems. Uh, and and I, I, I wish that I could kind of deal with that, but yeah, one, we've got one shot on goal, they've got 13. I mean, I, you know, I, I would uh, like to have seen the guy score one. Just one, just to, to say that we, we were a factor in the game. But I, I don't see that happening. We just, they're, they're just kind of tearing us. And Adam Peppers is getting a yellow. All we've succeeded in doing is padding the numbers for fouls. We got 14 fouls, they've got three. We're losing possession, we're not getting shots. They're down on our side of the pitch again. Maybe this wasn't the greatest choice to show because we're doing nothing with it. Here, here comes number four. Yep, there it is. And they're gonna call him offside. Well, at least that, that <laughs> kept us from getting too bad a shape. And then he's going to take another shot. Okay, let's take a look at it here. Because obviously, obviously what I'm doing is not working. So let's pump the ball into the box and shoot on sight and go route one. Let's see if we can maybe get a lucky shot in. Oh, we got a second shot on goal and one was on target. So that that's a positive. Let's take a look here and see where we're at. See is anybody in really bad shape? Nope. Let's put let's give Nick a shot. And we'll go ahead and make the uh, the third change. Let's go ahead and put Andrew in there. Now let's confirm them. Yeah, we'll get we'll get the guys out there. Double substitution. Oh, we're gonna have a throw in Dan Ball down to Elcock. He's back to Dan Ball. He's gonna cross it in, and Ospina is a Daniel Ospina is able to grab it. Nobody there for support. But we've got three shots on goal now. One was actually on target. Oh, it looks like it. it, it, it and Navi's got it to, to Shaquille Hunter. Shaquille's going to push it over to Murphy, and Nick McCoody's just way out of position. He he was... And Shaquille Hunter's able to get the steal. He's bringing it down. Are we going to get a shot? Nick McCoody? Yes, we scored against Arsenal. 70 80th minute, third goal of the season. Arsenal, three, Bass City, one. Hey, we got a goal against Arsenal. Yeah, we're going to lose, but we got a goal. How cool is that? Bass City scoring against Arsenal. And here we go. Billy Murphy's going to get it. He's going to take a shot. Daniel Espina is able to grab it. Looks like we're getting some pressure here at the end. I'm really shocked with how the boys are doing. And here we come. Are we going to get And McCutty's going to take a shot. Ospina is able to recover it. Let's go ahead and give him a pep talk. Come on, guys. Let's get creative. Shoot. We just scored against Arsenal. Did, Spina did a short 
some distribution there. They're kind of playing. They're 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 teasing this now. Yeah. Dragomir is bringing it down, and he pushes it back in the game. El Nini's got it coming up the middle, right to the feet. Dragomir is going in, and O'Leary makes a great save, pushes it over the bar. Going to give him a corner. They've kind of come alive in the last few minutes. I'm really pleased with them. If we could have played this way the whole game, maybe we could have made a match of it. O'Leary's able to grab it on the near post. 87th minute, you know, not much more we can do, but if we could pull one more out of this, there's one minute of added time. It looks like we're going to have a... Navi's going to take it, going to push it back to Chaz Hemmings. This is going to be it. And Billy Murphy's offside. So that looks like that's going to be the last highlight. Uh, full time, we lost 3-1, but hey, we scored... We scored against Arsenal. So I'm pleased with that. Um, I'm very pleased with how they did. And yeah, they're, they're very frustrated. And I can understand that. But hey, we scored against Arsenal. Um, yeah, they, they should have beaten us by a bigger margin. So we sold out the stadium. 8,840 people in, in, in attendance. So I'm really pleased with how we, we did there. Uh, all things considered, let's take a look and see where we're going to come back at. We're out of the FA Cup, but that's okay. That's all right. Law, we, we did score, and, I, and I'm happy with that. So, let's see. Let's come back. Oh, gosh, I don't even know who we're playing right now. Uh, let's take a look at a, probably around here uh, with Truro or Ebsfleet. Let's take a look and see. Oh, wrong thing. Let's take a look and see here. Truro is ninth. St. Albans is second. That may be the one we want to do. St. Albans. When is the St. Albans match? That is on the 18th. That's an away match. But that's okay. We're going to come back for the St. Albans match on February 18th. So we'll see what everything is going on there and get everything set up to that point. There it was, folks. The 3-1 loss to Arsenal. I knew it was going to happen. It was an enjoyable match. We, we scored a goal against Arsenal. I hope you liked what we did. It was an interesting episode because I knew we were going to lose, but we played Arsenal. We're going to be coming back to play St. Albans on February 18th. I hope you'll join us back on that for Episode 9. If you liked it, watching this match, even though we lost, go ahead and hit a like down there. Give me some feedback. What do you think of the new stuff we've been kind of doing with this? Let me know what what you think, how you feel like we're doing. Either way it goes, though, folks, I hope you have a great day, and I hope we get to see you back for Episode 9. Talk to you later.